everybody. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi, good evening. Hello, Mom Red. Hi. Abuhai, and welcome to Philippine Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> sana all. Sana all, all sana. Nga ng audio, di ba no? <laughs> all sana. sana. Eh, si Jake, singer si Jake. Uy, mo kanta sa kung mapawala sa kulba. Singer is. <laughs> Hello and good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Pink Box, um, virtual assistant education, and thank you all for attending um, this training. And I'd like you to meet our trainer for today. We have Jake Ayano. Uh, he's a Facebook ads expert. So I'm expert <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is a million trainer na dili expert. <laughs> All right. Sir Jake, you may now take over. Start at 5.58 pa man. Ay, Ay galop. 6 na. Uy. 6 na ba? Okay, okay, okay. Let's start. Okay. Uh, sorry. I-share ko muna yung screen ko, guys. Okay, let's just turn our videos off para dili kayo mag-lag and then the tuloy-tuloy ang para hindi mag-lag sa mga Tagalog. Sorry. Lisod daw ang Tagalog, right? Um and will para tuloy-tuloy yung ano, yung presentation. Okay. Okay, can you guys see my screen now? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, okay, got it. So start ako, ma'am. <laughs> um, can you hit record first before you start? Ah, uh, nag-record na to, ma'am. Ah, nag-record na. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes, go ahead. Starts in one minute. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, pa pag mag-share screen ko, di na ko makita ang chat. So, di ko makita. Di, ako, di ko makita yung dalawang screen. So, uh, first of all, di ko na makita yung face ko, kung ano ba nangyari sa face ko ngayon. <laughs> it's okay, uh, sir. Ha? Huh? It's okay. You look good. And then, yung sa chat, if you have questions, just um, just jump, drop them all sa chat box. And then, I will try Sige, to copy um question. Then, we will just answer it through um the Facebook um post in the group para maisa-isa namin masagot yun. Not within this um, this discussion. There will be question and answer later on but then that's very short. So like around 15 or 20 minutes. So if you have questions, just type it in. I will just copy it and then we'll answer it later. Okay. okay? Thank you. Nice. Okay. So good evening everyone. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Mom Red. Red Mom, pronunciation the name of. <laughs> Red. Yes. <laughs> all right, for giving me the chance to talk and share my experiences regarding with Facebook ads tonight. And, ilan na bang participants natin ngayon, uh, Mom? Participants natin? We, have, we are currently 19. 19, okay, nice. And of course, thank you then sa Pink Box for making this happen. And I'm really excited to see you all tonight. I think meron akong mga kilala sa chat box, sa chat dito, pero hindi ko na makita, like I said, Kaina. So yes, guys, uh, welcome everyone to for tonight's topic, how to become a Facebook ads freelancer. So, uh, first, can you guys hear me well? Okay lang ba yung mic ko? Yes. Yes, okay, nice. Okay, games, let's start. So before we start, magpakilala ako ulit ako sa inyo guys. Uh, my name is Jake Ayano. Uh, I'm I'm a loving husband now to my wife and shout out pala sa wife ko. I know I know nag-join siya ngayon pero ibang name ginamit niya para hindi ako ma-pressure. So I'm also a girl dad. I have a two-year-old daughter now. But me and my wife are expecting another baby boy this coming July. So we are really excited about that. Wow. Yes, thank you. I'm an online freelancer for six years now. 
And I'm also a top-rated freelancer on Upwork for five years already. Uh, when we say top-rated, ito yung mga hand-pick ng, ng Upwork platform na in, in fact, kung maging top-rated ka, instead, ikaw usually nag apply ng mga jobs ang mga clients na nag-contact sa inyo. So, yan yung mga benefit na pagiging top-rated. Also, my first client was from Upwork then. So, I'm specializing in digital marketing. When I first started out as an online freelancer, uh, yung first work ko talaga is doing digital marketing work. But since yung digital marketing is very broad, siya, so I decided to focus on a uh, certain niche, which led me to a lot of niche focus skill sets naman. And I think it worked well kasi nga, uh, I landed, it landed me different types of jobs naman sa mga niche focus talaga niche, which is really... Uh, which is I really like it talaga. So, ito na yung ito yung mga jobs na pinofocus ko ngayon. Siguro mag four years na ako dito ngayon, guys. Uh, number one is influencer marketing. Usually, this job is for Instagram and for YouTube. And I'm doing Instagram ads as well. And Facebook ads. Ito yung topic natin ngayon. And yan ang share ko sa inyo. So, aside from working as an online freelancer, may mga side hustles din ako, guys. Like, uh, yung mga side gigs like sideline or whatever you call it. Uh, side hustle, uh, mer mer meron kaming ikom business. Uh, may partnership kami with, with my family wherein we are selling products in the Philippines and we also manufacture our own product. So it was really doing well that time last year but nag-stop kami because of the COVID-19 pandemic. May mga issues kami regarding with our delivery so stop muna, muna namin yung productions namin. And, but orders are still coming in, which is good. But like I said, nag-stop muna kami ng mga operations and sa ads din namin. So, I'm also, of course, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm also a beginner YouTuber. I have a YouTube channel, though wala pa siya enough subscribers. But I'm really working on it to grow. And maybe you guys can help me out about that later by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Later na yan, guys. <laughs> so, ang content ko sa YouTube is more on teaching people how to work online and how to become an online freelancer. And actually, I'm also recording this now para i-upload ko later sa YouTube ko. So, so what can we expect from this webinar? Char. So, okay. Char. <laughs> so, number one is uh, you will understand about Facebook ads. Number two is uh, may mga website suggestions ako later. And kung saan ba mas okay mag-apply ng mga websites and I'll, I'll try to really make it a, third, a short talk like 30 minutes so that we can have a Q&A like a 15 minutes Q&A sa last part. So, my question ako dito ngayon guys, uh, why do clients hire a Facebook ads freelancer? So, num there, there are two reasons actually. Number one is they don't know how to do it and number two is they need an extra hand. So, either way, these reasons are are creating an opportunity for us as online freelancers na uh, mag-join tayo, mag, ano na, uh, creating opportunity for us na para sa atin mga freelancers. So this is where Facebook ads freelancers come in. So ito si Mark. So I have a question here again, guys. So who among you here have Facebook ad experience? Can you, can you, can you type in sa comment? Ng yes or no lang? Pero hindi ko mabasa sa comment. Eh. Pwede ikaw, Ma'am Red, na magbasa? Yes, I'm monitoring it. Okay, nice. So, sino bang may mga Facebook ads experience na dyan, guys? Please type in yes and no kung wala pa. Where can you see the chat box? So, may mga yes ba dyan? May mga no? Hindi ko mo talaga makita eh. Yeah, we have April for yes, Crystalline. Uh, April and Crystalline. Okay, nice. Um, I do have experience a little bit. Nice. Okay, so uh, next question is um, who among you here are already working as an online freelancer? Can you type in yes or no? I think maybe majority of us here are working as an online freelancer now. So like, I, again, hindi ako makita sa comment but I, I, I will assume na Marami and meron ding wala. So, okay. So, my, my topic for today is really just about teaching you guys on how to set up your Facebook ads correctly and give you some tips at the end. And if wala ka pang idea about Facebook ads, uh, I think you're so lucky today because I'll be teaching you how to make your first ad. And if my experience can, uh, and just let this webinar be a refresher course muna sa'yo. But I can give you some tips on later on on how 
to rate yourself as a Facebook ads freelancer. So, next is what are Facebook ads? Or ano ba yung mga Facebook ads? So, ito yung makikita natin guys sa advertisement sa, sa Facebook. Uh, ito yung mga nasa newsfeed, nasa mobile, nasa messenger, sa, sa Facebook videos that you can skip sa Facebook. And of course, so yung sa mga right column sa Facebook on desktop. So, ito yung mga Facebook ads example. Ito yung sa newsfeed na desktop. Uh, looking at this, makita nyo dyan na two companies dyan like Thumbnail Blaster and PayPal. So, one way of... One way to know if it's a Facebook ads is makita mo yung if makita mo yung post sa timeline sa timeline mo na may nakalagay na sponsored meaning uh, Facebook ads yan siya. So these are example of Facebook ads sa desktop and ito naman yung example ads sa mobile. Makita mo yung nakalagay diyan sponsored sponsored. So I think you're all familiar with that na. Next is ito yun mobile again. May mga sponsored Next is, ito yung example sa right column ng Facebook ads sa desktop nyo, guys. So, I think nakita nyo rin yan sa, sa kung if you open your desktop, may makita kayo. Very, ito, very useful din to siya, guys. May, may nagbabayad talaga ng mga advertisers dyan para makita dyan sila sa portion na dyan banda. Next, ito yung messenger stories which is very familiar din sa atin. Uh, like kung gustong... Di ba, kung mag-search mag ka ng mga, mag, mag punta ka sa messenger, you can see this usually sa messenger stories mo while nag-stock ka sa mga ex mo. <laughs> then pag-click mo sa stories niya is may mag-pop up na ads. Then after ng ads, excited ka makita yung ex mo pero di mo naman view kasi 24 hours na. So yan ang example ng mga messenger ads guys. So ang lesson dyan is huwag kang mag-stock sa messenger sa mga ex mo. Okay? Next, ito yung example sa Facebook video ads. Very famous yan ngayon. Usually, makita mo ang mga ads ato sa watch tab sa Facebook. And ito yung example ng uh, Facebook video ads na hindi mo maskip uh, while you're watching the ads. From left to right, makita mo, makita mo dyan sa ads starting soon. Once mag-start na siya, hindi mo siya ma-skip ma, ma ad unlike sa YouTube. And then, pag matapos na yung video ad, is nakalagay na yung uh, company ng nag nagpa-Facebook ads. So, example din yan ng mga video ads. And, ito rin yung mga personal examples ko guys sa uh, when uh, sa, sa Facebook ads. Ito yung two clients ko uh, before. Ito yung first client is from Tagig, isang gym doon sa market market. Uh, itong Get Fit 24-7, 24-7 market market. Bali, yung gym na yan, pinupromote namin, sign, bali, sign up forms niya, type na ads. And para to gain volume sa mga membership. Later, ipakita ko ang income ko dyan sa project na yan. So, wag ka muna mag-dinner para makita mo kung how much ba ang binabayad ng isang, ano, sa isang gym dito sa akin. The next client is based in Australia and ang pinapromote ko naman dito is a webinar. Okay? So, next is how to create Facebook ads. So, ito yung pinaka-exciting na part ng topic ko, guys. So, if, 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 if hindi ka pa marunong gumawa ng Facebook ads, make sure to take down notes. Okay? Pasensya na po talaga sa, sa Tagalog ko. <clears throat> I'm not comfortable sa talaga sa Tagalog. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> so, there are four easy steps to create a Facebook ads. So, number one is you should have your own Facebook account, may Facebook page ka, then may Facebook business manager ka, and may Facebook ad account ka. So, explain ko to guys is isa and maglagay din ako ng mga examples para you can really learn about this. So, next is Facebook account. Dapat may Facebook account, account ka to run your Facebook ads. Kasi kung wala kang Facebook account, which is impossible naman, di ka talaga makaraan ng Facebook ads. Hahanapin niya ng Facebook during sa pag-sign up mo. So, and since marunong na tayong gumawa ng Facebook ads, I mean yung Facebook account, hindi ko na i-discuss yan. So, ito, next is yung Facebook page number two. This part is very easy lang din, very straightforward. But baka may hindi pa baka but siguro may hindi pa marunong gumawa ng Facebook ads as, as uh, Facebook page diyan. I'm just gonna sh share it to you very quickly. Ito yung paggawa ng Facebook page, very basic lang. Punta ka na sa timeline mo and then manage pages and then create a page. Ito yung mga clients ko, uh, obviously hinahid ko lang para sa another privacy din nila. Okay, so next is ito na ang page kung saan gagawa ka ng business. It's either uh, create a business page or community. So kung feeling mo um, 
ka-level mo na sa Kimchu, then mag-public figure ka na. Then get started ka na. And then you can continue. Oy. A gift from Zoom. Okay. So, pag matapos ka na, just click on continue, then boom, may Facebook page ka na. Then, uh, the Facebook business manager. So, this is where it really gets tricky, guys. So, I would really suggest to take down notes because I'm just going to explain this very fast para mahabol natin yung time natin, okay? So, what is Facebook business manager? So, ang Facebook business manager is a Facebook tool that helps organize and manage your business. Dito ka mag-set up ng mga payments mo and dito, ka rin, dito mo rin nilagay yung mga business details and permits. So, you can also invite people to work as an employee sa business manager mo. And, but since kit, uh, kit tayo is, uh, as a freelancer, kita yung mga employees eh. So, so, ito yung example na email na ma-receive mo once your client invite you to, invited you to become an employee sa business manager. So, ito yung example guys. Um, pag ma-hire ka na, invite ka nila to work on their business manager. So, example this one. Uh, my client's um, an account has invited you to work on their business on Facebook you've been you've given access to ito si Ethan yung client ko then blah 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 okay so ito yung example and once you open your email ito yung uh, example then ng makikita mo once you open your email so that's that's why I told you kanina na you you can create a Facebook ads kung wala kang FB account kasi ang number one requirement ng business manager is may ano ka may Facebook account Okay, so yan yung example, then you can click OK. So, uh, pag i-click mo yung OK, pwede ka na mag-work sa business manager ng client mo. So, the question is, paano ka ba gumawa ng business manager? So, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to business.facebook.com slash overview and then i-click mo yung create account. And then pag mag-click mo na ito yung lalabas, so from left to right ang viewing natin guys, ha? from left to right. So, you can decide sa name na ilagay mo. Uh, ikaw na bahala dyan. I suggest na ilagay mo yung real name mo kasi nga later on, pag mag-spend ka na, na mga siguro mga nasa mga 100,000 up, uh, mag-require mag -require na yung Facebook na i, ano ka, para i-verify ka kung ikaw ba talaga gumagamit ng Facebook Business Manager. So, yung business email mo guys, pwede mo siyang ilagay yung uh, email kung nung, ano, nung first time ka nag-sign up sa Facebook. And so website naman, you can just simply use your Facebook URL. Okay lang yan. And then once you click on submit, ito na yung lalabas. So yan, ito na yung uh, business manager. So good evening, Iman Jake. That's my name here. So dito mo makita ang mga ad performance mo. Ito. Uh, so very, very basic lang yan, guys. So next step is if you want to see the whole business manager, you can click on sa business settings. Business setting. So, ito na yung nalabas. So, sa arrow na dyan, may nakalagay dyan na YJMA ads. That's actually my initials, guys. My full name is Iman Jake Ayano. So, uh, yun na pangalan ng business manager ko. So, th th there will be three stages uh, na gawin natin before we can, we can make our first ad. So, number one is um, we need to connect our Facebook page first. Kung ikaw mismo nag a ha? And then to do that, you need to click on the left side, the tab. Diyan sa left side, may nakalagay dyan ng pages. And then click on add. Pag maklik mo na yung add, you can connect now your page. Very straightforward to guys. Uh, kung gusto mo mag-add ng page, ilagay mo dyan. Pag mag-request ka na access na sa isang certain page, i-click mo yan. And then kung mag-create ka ng new page, pwede mo rin gamitin to. But since, but since nakagawa na tayo ng Facebook page, uh, di mo na kailangan gawin yan. But again guys, uh, very important to guys kasi... May mga clients na hindi talaga marunong gumawa and mag-connect ng Facebook pages nila to their business manager. So from the here pa lang, dapat alam mo na ang dapat mong gawin. Right? So next is number two is uh, we need to set up our payment. So to do that, you need to go to the payments tab and then add payment method. Kasi hindi ka makapag-run ng ads kung wala kang credit card or debit card na nilagay at first. And regarding sa PayPal, if may question ka kayo if pwede bang PayPal gamitin, pwede naman PayPal gamitin pero at first hindi sila tumatanggap kasi nga bag bago pa lang yung account mo. So later on, pag mag-spend ka na, makita ng Facebook yung amount of spent mo, pwede mo nang i-apply din ng PayPal. So set up mo lang dyan guys yung, ano, yung PayPal, I mean yung debit or credit card information mo. And then next is, then you're done. May BM ka na. Next is, uh, how to create a Facebook ads account? Ad account. 
Ang other cloud, ito yung platform talaga kung saan ka gumagawa ng Facebook ads. So, to create uh, another account, uh, click mo lang yung add account na dito, dito na side and then click on add. And then, this is again, very important din ito. Uh, be sure na tama talaga yung yung time zone tsaka yung currency nyo guys kasi hindi mo na ma-change yan. May, may, may isang case ako na gumawa ko ng um, uh, ad account na nilagay ko na time is US time. Okay, na, okay naman din kaso uh, mahirapan ka mag-convert kasi pag mag-read mag, mag ka ng mga stats sa Facebook ads, kailangan mo ng, ano, kailangan mo ng uh, tama na time. Yung, yung mga timing like 6am or 7am na posting yung ganun. So mahirapan ka talaga. And yung time zone mo is make sure kung, kung yung client mo is from the US, dapat yung time zone nila is uh, from the US as well. And then after mo fill up, click mo yung next. Then ito yung makita mo sa next. Click mo yung business. Either way, pwede naman dyan sa business or other business or client. Pwede mo siya i-click. Then iset mo yung permissions mo. I-click mo yung ito, yung nakalagay na parang blue. Then you can click on assign. Then after that, uh, yan, may Facebook ad account ka na. So, really simple. So, ito na yung, once you're done na mag- ito na yung ano ito yung buo tal buong um, Facebook Ads account So para makita mo yung whole na dashboard talaga is you need to click on open open ads manager Once you click click on it ito na yung platform ng ad account mo So dito ka na gagawa ng mga Facebook ads mo So to give you a quick recap pag recap muna tayo so ano yung mga Four easy steps is you should have your Facebook account, my Facebook page ka, my business, a uh, Facebook business manager, business manager ka, and then my Facebook ad account ka na. So very simple lang talaga. <laughs> so next is, uh, so gito, how, how do clients give tasks on Facebook ads? So paano ba magbibigay ng mga client ng tasks sa Facebook ads? Um, ito yung mga example ng mga task ko guys uh, regarding sa FB ads. And since under ako sa isang uh, FB ads agency sa US, marami talagang work every day. Dati, before COVID-19 started, before COVID-19, we are doing 50 to 300 ads per day so based from multiple clients and minsan nga umabot kami ng 700 ads a day. So, daming work talaga. So, ito yung ginagamit namin na platform kung saan makita mo yung assigned task ko. So, Trello ang ginagamit namin. I think you're all familiar with this. Kung hindi pa, hindi ka pa familiar, ang Trello is a management tool kung saan uh, uh, parang drag and drop lang yung mga task mo. So, ito yung Jake's to-do list ko. And kung makita mo dyan sa mga squares or rectangles sa mga boxes, kung i-click nyo yan, dyan makikita yung mga task ko. So, let's try to click, uh, let's try to click some, okay? So, ito yung mga actual example, guys. Um, may nakalagay dyan, 20 ad sets at 20 each. So, meaning $20 yun siya. So, later, explain ko kung ano bang meaning ng ad set. And then next, you need to create 10 ad set, meaning ad set interest dyan. So, 75% of video views look alike audiences from 1 to 10% at $10 each. Kung wala ka pa experience, ito, ano dyan, um, ito yung mga example ng mga tasks na binibigay ng client sa akin. So, that's okay. Wala pala ka. And this one, let's do a buy one, get one free on a winning, winning bracelet. Uh, so, ito yung sinasabi ko guys na 500 to, uh, 50 to 300 ads every day ang, ng ads na usually ginawa, ginagawa ko every day sa isang Facebook ads agency. And uh, di ba na-mention din ako na may budget yung $10 so later explain ko din kung paano ka ba mag-add ang budget dun sa Facebook ad account mo lastly ito yung buy one get one free na ad na strategy tsaka 20% ads yun hindi, hindi kasi also yun sa US yung buy one take one na statement sa US eh. so ito yung gamit nila parang buy one get one so yun ang mga examples ng mga task ko dyan guys um, ang dami talaga very busy talaga the next is, ito na yung creating your Facebook ads. So, I would really suggest that again to uh, take down notes dito guys. So, let's start. So, ito yung, balikan natin yung platform ng Facebook ads. Na, ano, ito yung uh, whole dashboard mo to create your first Facebook ads. So, yung, kung makikita mo yung tatlong connected dyan, na mga boxes, yung mga tab, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. 
connected dyan silang tatlo guys. So, to start creating your first ad is you need to click on sa word na create. Okay? Either of the two will work. And then, kung makikita mo dyan, may mga arrows dyan na naka-focus on three main parts. Ito yung campaign, ad sets, and ad. So, i-break down natin yan sa isa-isa. So, ang campaign, ito yung mga marketing goal mo or mga marketing objective mo. So, makikita mo dyan siya sa here, right? Uh, choose your ob objective. So, ito yung mga campaign and uh, and again, mga marketing objective mo. May nakalagay dyan na brand awareness. Usually, ito yung uh, para bang just, you just uh, letting people know about your business. Ang reach is basically to reach more people or audience. And traffic is if you want to drive traffic to your website. Engagement is kung gusto mo magkaroon ng mga likes, mga comments or shares ng post mo, ito yung piliin mo. App installation, basically, if you're selling apps to download, then you can just select this. Video views, kung gusto mo gusto mong maraming views, kung gusto mo maraming viewers ka sa Facebook video mo, piliin mo yan. Lead generation, uh, if you want to get quality leads or people to sign up uh, sa mga offers mo, Example dito is mga webinar, mga subscriptions, or even uh, event concerts. Sa messages, ito yung mga gusto mo, kung gusto mo makareceive ang Facebook page no, mga, ng message directly to your page. And next is yung conversion. Ito yung, exam, ito yung kung may website ka, kung gusto mong may bumili sa products mo. Like, ang great example for this is yung mga e-commerce websites e-commerce business, let's say, nagbebenta ka ng mga shirts, cell phones, cell phone cases, etc. Pwede mo itong piliin, guys. And catalog sales is uh, parang, kata, parang carousel, carousel type of ad lang. And lastly, itong store traffic, pero disable to ng Facebook muna. May naka-disable dyan kasi nga because of the COVID-19. More of a physical store kasi yan. So, and usually, ang pinaka-the best na gawin if bago ka pa sa business mo is yung engagement. Kasi yung kasi nga kung gusto mo mag-trending yung post mo through your ad so ito muna yung gagamitin natin since we want to grow our likes sa page natin di ba so uh, the more likes you have the more legit looking yung Facebook page mo kasi so again kung hindi ka pa ka nakapag-set up ng ad account uh, mag-notice diyan sana set up your ad account and ipa-click ka ulit ni Facebook to confirm your your currency and your country so again oh to confirm ka o ano bang currency mo. So, if in, in this part, guys, kung yung client mo is is from the US, uh, ilagay mo lang dyan na ang currency nila is a US dollar. Depende if they, if they are from Australia, Australian dollar na ilagay mo. Since, pero kung ikaw lang mag-create ng sarili mong ad account, ilagay mo lang yung, yung peso. And time zone ng client mo. So, importante din yan. And next, uh, since we're done making the campaign, uh, yun kayo na, explain ko. Once malaman mo na kung ano yung marketing objectives mo, objectives mo, let's proceed na to the ad set. So, ito yung ad set, guys. Ang ad set, guys, is dito na tayo magta-target kung sino bang mga target market nyo. So, i-break down natin into three parts. Yung mayroon tayong audience, may placements, may budget, and schedule. So, sa, sa audience, uh, don't be don't be confused sa, sa, ano, sa mga arrows. So, explain ko isa-isa. Dito mo makita yung mga location, ang age and gender ng targeting mo. Kung sino bang tinatarget ng audience mo sa ad mo. So next is yung interest. Dito, ito yung interest. In, ang interest na nilagay ko dyan is dog food. For example lang yan guys. Ha? So, so pwede kayo maglagay ng hairbrush or basketball or depende sa gusto mong itarget ng mga interest. Kasi ang Facebook kasi ay target siya ng mga audience mo na based sa interest ng audience mo or sa Facebook user. Let's say, for example, yung product mo is dog collar, parang collar and dog. So, meaning, pwede mong i-target ang dog food kasi related siya sa interest na gusto mong i-target sa, face, sa Facebook. I hope, I hope na-catch nyo dito nga the part. <laughs> okay, so sa dog food, makikita nyo dyan na ang dog interest ay may potential reach na 1.1 million people. Meaning, may mga 1.1 people na, na gusto, na nag-interest sa dog food. So, kung isa ka sa mga naglagay ng interest na, ng dog food sa pag-sign up mo sa Facebook at the start, there's a greater possibility na makita mo yung ads na gawin natin. So, 
I hope nagets niyo tong comment lang yun. Kung may may question kayo later, pwede mo siyang ano gawin. Okay, next is yung placement. So yung placement meaning ito yung kung saan mo gusto makita yung ads mo. Like say, for example, may video views. Pwede ka bang mag-video views sa Messenger, sa Stories, and sa Timeline ba? And yung example mm. ko gina, if you can still remember. So, my yeah, two so options. Na. Hello? <laughs> my two options yan, automatic or manual. As a start, you can start on automatic. But if you gusto mo i-click yung manual, ito yung lalabas sa manual, guys. Dito mo makita kung saan placement makita mo ang ad mo. So, kung makikita nyo dyan, bakit may Instagram? Dito nakita mo may Instagram? Yes, kasi dito ginagawa, dito rin ginagawa ang Instagram ads. So, at least ngayon may information ka na kung saan gawin, saan gawin ang Facebook, ay, yung Instagram ads. So, pwede mo lang i-click or eh, uncheck mo lang yung mga placement na hindi mo gusto na, na i-add. Pero, audience network, yung messenger, pwede mo to i-check. Kasi the more nga mag-check ka, the more nga yung i-spend yung Facebook yung budget mo. So kung wala ka namang Instagram tapos nag nag nag-click ka dito, so mauwis lang yung pera mo nilagay mo sa budget mo. And speaking of budget, ito na yung next, yung budget mo. Ito na yung budget mo, guys. So dito mo ilagay kung how much budget na willing mo i-spend sa Facebook. I think you can you can you can add as little as 50 pesos lang or 1 dollar din sa ano sa Facebook. Then pwede mo siya i-add na pwede, pwede mo siya i-run Ngayon, ngayon na or pwede mo siyang iset a schedule. So you can pwede mo siya i-click then later i-check o yung ano kung paano ka ba mag magkikil ng mga ads as well. So next na diyan sa budget and schedule. Then ito na ang last part, itong ad. Dito ka nagagawa ng actual ad talaga. So i-break down din natin yan into 1 2 3 4 5 five parts and eh, as always i-explain ko rin isa-isa. So first is identity. Identity. So, dito mo ilagay ang Facebook page mo. Kung anong Facebook Facebook page na gagamitin mo para mag-ads. And be careful lang guys kasi may mga may mga times na talaga na example if marami kang ads, I mean marami kang Facebook page tapos nalagay mo dito is yung Facebook page ng isang client mo or your personal account. So, pag miklik mo yung confirm later sa pag-add mo, magugulat yung client mo kung saan, mo, saan, saan ba yung Facebook yung ad mo nakalagay sa Facebook. Nangyari kasi yan sa akin guys, nagalit yung client ko talaga. Pero I just deleted the ad and nag-sorry lang ako sa kanya. So yun, okay lang. Then, then sa araw na dyan, dyan mo ilagay yung Instagram account mo kung meron ka dyan. Then sa YouTube, sa YouTube channel ko, may may video ko na how to make a Instagram ad. So, uh, pwede mong i-check yun later. So, next is yung format. Ito yung dito ka mag-decide kung single video ba ilagay mo or single single image or carousel ad ba ilagay mo. Ilagay mo lang diyan, i-drag and drop mo lang. So yung instant ex, yung ad na ad an instant experience, ibang level din yan guys. So uh, later na yan siya i-discuss natin. Then ito na yung media. Dito mo ilagay yung image or video mo. So for example, ang ilagay mo dito is uh, video, pwede mo siya ilagay. I-drop, may drop down arrow naman siya. So, for, for this example, ilagay ko lang yung picture. Okay, so, yan. Ito na yung, ano guys, ito na yung uh, preview ng ad mo. So, ito yung, actually, para siya, ito yung product ng client ko. Inilagay ko lang dyan for just for the example. And, uh, ito yung primary text kung saan mo ilagay yung text mo like dito. So, kung anong inilagay mo dyan, Yan, yan din ang lalabas dito sa part. Okay, so yun. Basic na talaga. So may, may ito yung links mo. So ilagay mo yung mga links mo. Ilagay mo yung mga words. And yan. Ang preview niya. So may nakalagay din siya na sponsored. So next is, sa baba is may tinatawag tayo na tracking. May tinatawag kasi yung Facebook na Facebook pixel, ito yung mga parang tracking cookie mo na parang matrack ng Facebook or ng website mo kung sino ba yung nakakita or nakapunta sa ad mo. Uh, need mo siya iset up pero kung wala ka pang website naman, i-click mo na lang yung confirm and I think you're good to go. And then you're done. Um, congrats, nakagawa ka na ng ano, fa first Facebook ads mo. So easy and simple lang talaga guys. So, I hope na-gets you yung part. Uh, binilisan ko lang kasi sa time natin. So, ito na yung mga website suggestion ko, guys. Um, 
So yan, fiverr.com, onlinejobs.ph, upwork.com. So yung mga top three websites kung saan pwedeng makahahanap ka ng work relating to Facebook ads. Uh, yun, ang daming work dito guys. You can check them one by one. Ako, when I first started out as working as a Facebook ads freelancer, nag-apply ako sa onlinejobs.ph. Nag-apply ako kahit wala pa akong experience. <laughs> But before ako nag-apply, uh, may, 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 nag-YouTube ako everyday eh. Parang, kung gusto ko talaga gusto ko kasi talaga na ma, ma, marunong ako gumawa ng Facebook ad. So doon nagtry ako doon sa sa ano tawag yan sa onlinejobs.ph and siguro may 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 na may nag-hire sa akin ng isang client. And din din doon na nagsimula yung isang ano ko um Facebook ano ko experience ko as a freelancer. So i-try niyo lang siya lahat guys. Then, ano bang, no, ito na, ito na pinaka exciting guys. So, magkano ba ang rate ng mga Facebook ads freelancer? So, so ang mga rates ng Facebook ads freelancers ay it ranges from $4 to $20 an hour. And average work hours per week is nasa mga 10 to 40 hours a week. Okay, so, simple lang. Ito na yung formula na sinabi ko guys. Let's say for example, your your rate is $5 per hour, tapos my work, uh, my work your work is 3 hours a day, tapos uh, 5 times a week. So in a week time, may $75 per week ka uh, and that's $300 per month. Right? So in peso, it's uh, 15,000 pesos a month. Okay, not bad, di ba? 15,000 pesos a month, 3 hours lang yung work mo, tapos 5 days a week lang na work. Take note guys na this is just for one client. What if may dalawa kang client? What if may tatlong clients ka? So, yun, di ba? Kayo na mag-compute kung magkano pera ang makukuha mo. Mm-hmm. And, yes. And ito yung Facebook Ads Freelancer. Yung, ito yung mga proof ko, proof of earnings ko sa mga Facebook Ads para ma-proof ko naman sa inyo na may income talaga sa Facebook Ads. And, um, di ako nagmamayabang na mga na makita nyo dito but I-share ko lang kasi gusto kong ma-prove sa inyo na may, may pera talaga sa pagiging isang Facebook ads freelancer. So, uh, ito yung gym na client ko guys. Um, ito is Upwork to. Yung Facebook ad, lead generator. Uh, may rate ako dyan na $8 per hour. Kung makita nyo sa feedback niya, medyo na-satisfied siya sa, sa work ko. Yung sinabi niya dito sa last part na we will be hiring Jake again within this week. ba diba? So, ito yung So, yung nag-end ng contract namin, akala ko, baka, baka scam naman, hindi naman ako ma-hire ng, ng balik sa kanya. But, I was uh, really fortunate kasi nga, hinire niya ako, kasi isang client natin sila guys, hinire, hinire niya ako, pero hindi na $8 per hour, $15 per hour na. So, yun guys, ang, ang may, yung sinabi ko na $4 to $20 na rate mo sa Facebook ads is uh, doable talaga. May nakita nga ako, may mga friends din ako sa mga Facebook ads group ko. Um, may nag-rate din mga $30 to $50 an hour. Depende rin sa level ng work. And ito yung example ng Upwork. And ito rin yung mga example ng other clients ko. Ito yung free app na, free app na website. Uh, bale, dito, napagsabay ko yung three clients. Kasi, <laughs> kasi nga kung as long as kaya mo pa to work on more clients, then apply for more. That's the key. Diba? Kung makita nyo yun sa first client, uh, first client, uh, and, kasi under, ito yung client ko na under sa isang agency. So, no limit yung hours na binigay niya sa akin. Ito yung 200, 300 ads per day. So, walang limit and my rate there is $7 per hour. Next client is yung $5 per hour. No limit then. Kasi hindi nila alam ng client na ang mga work, di alam ng client kung ano talaga yung maximum na time na maibibigay sa akin. Kasi nga, mabibisi talaga yung mga mga client when it comes to like, mga, may, mga, may mga holidays like um, Christmas, mga Cyber Monday or any holidays in the US. So yung next client ko is, yung three hours lang yung limit niya per week kasi nga more on engagement ads lang to sa kanya. So basic naman yung ginagawa ko sa kanya. So, yun guys, uh, yun lang yung mga proof natin ngayon this night and I think let's, let's proceed now to question and answer. So, I, may mga question ba? Hi, Jake. Okay. Right here. 
Yeah, we have a question here um, from Anna. I will read it aloud. Um, who does the editing of the images, graphic materials, and videos that you use? Okay, so good question then from Anna. Um, sa akin, pag, pag, pag Facebook ad freelancer ka, depende kasi yan, pag mag under ka sa isang agency, yung gagawin mo talaga is purely Facebook ads lang. Kasi sa akin, hindi, like say for example, hindi man ako designer, hindi ako marunong mag-design, hindi ako marunong mag- uh, gumawa ng mga video editing. So, may mga freelancers din na dyan na part. So, hindi ikaw yung gagawa niya. Depende rin sa client mo if may budget siya na to work with other freelancers. Kung wala, ka talagang, wala talagang budget yung client mo, then ikaw na mismo magawa sa mga images, sa mga videos, mapapilitan ka talaga. Pero usually, pag mga big Facebook agency na yan, even ang copy na, copy na nilagay mo sa Facebook ads, hindi na ikaw magawa. Even yung headline, hindi na ikaw magawa. Ikaw, iset up mo lang yung ad account, set up mo lang yung mga ad, iset up mo lang yung mga ads mo, and then, yun, very busy ka na dyan. Okay. May question pa, guys. You can unmute yourself and then ask your question aloud and we can, everybody can hear it. Since it's recorded, um, we can go back to it um, later on and then um, others, if you want to, to know the answer later on, then you can rewatch it in YouTube. Okay. I, I have a question, Sir Jake. Um, yes, ma'am. Makalimot na lang yun ko. Ay, kalimot, oi. So my question is um, when you when you I I my it's about this and I remember my question is do you accept internship for example me it would be very difficult for me to get a client eh, since I don't have any experience um, but I, I I'm willing to learn and accept some side side jobs without pay just to learn how to do it is it something that you would offer in a short period of time let's say one or two projects just just for us to learn how to do it um okay so actually mom uh, dito sa bahay namin may may mga may mga ano kasi ako may mga freelancers din ako dito so okay. yung mga working students ko binigyan ko sila ng sideline kasi nga hindi ko naman din kaya yung sa akin lang pero Diyan, diyan sa question mo regarding sa mga internship, hindi ko pa na, naranasan niya, hindi, wala pa akong experience dyan, and wala pa, rin, wala pa rin akong plano regarding regarding that. So, yes. And, pero, um, yun nga, sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, uh, na mag, sa YouTube channel ko, marami talagang content dyan guys. So, you can just simply go there if you want. So, okay. tip lang siguro. Ang tip lang siguro, before, di ba, na sinabi ko na nag-apply ako na wala pa akong ex Facebook ad experience. So, ginawa ko is uh, naggawa ko ng portfolio. Let's say, for example, um, ang ginawa ko dati is marang may, may gym. Gym na promotion, di ba? Naggawa ko ng case study na wala pang, wala pang case study talaga. So, gumawa ko ng sarili kong case study na wala pa akong experience. So, kasi yun yung eagerness ko na to, to, to be a Facebook ad freelancer. So, ginawa ko, uh, nagkita ko yung gym sa US and then ginawan ko siya ng image sa Canva. Ginawan ko siya ng Facebook ad na headline. Ginawan ko siya ng copy and ginawan ko siya ng mga ano bang interest na pwede ko siya i-target. Then, yun yung propose ko as part sa my resume. So, natanggap ako. <laughs> so, yun. Yeah. Okay, we have another uh, we have several questions, but um, going back to Anna um, asking if about internship, um, usually we suggest that the training itself already provides you the basic stuff. Uh, you will not make the graphics because usually yung mga um, clients, they have uh, specialized graphic designers and then what you will do is just follow those basic steps. Um, if you want uh, uh, to create a portfolio, we will discuss another set. We will have um, a training for that um, later on. Someone will help us do that. So you need to attend that so you would know how to build your profile, um, the basic profile in Upwork or Fiverr or online jobs. And then um, 
hindi mo usually kay hindi mo talaga kailangan na uh, maging expert just to um, just to get a client you have to ha develop your own skills and then apply the basic stuff to it and then eagerness na lang yung pag apply apply makakakuha ka talaga ng client kami um, when we started it's like uh, 20 resumes in uh, <laughs> in a day like Yung ganun, yung ganun ang <laughs> just to be able to get one client. So, um, yes, itong so. kind of job it, na kailangan may eagerness and then self at uh, give time to practice. So, yun. Then, let's go to the questions. Um, from Jonathan Kilario, uh, it is, uh, is it possible that you are the graphic designer, video editor, as well as Facebook Ads Manager. Um, yes, pwede pwede yan. Uh, actually, nakita ko talaga yan na advantage para sa you. If marulong ka mag Facebook Ads at the same time, marulong ka magkumawa ng video ads at the same time, marulong ka magkumawa ng mga mga designing and ano pang dapat na mga ano any promotional content. But along the way, kasi uh, may mga disadvantages din yan. Kasi yung Facebook Ads guys, kung sa setup ka lang set up mo lang, okay, run mo na yung ads, okay, okay na. But if your client has a budget of $5,000 a day in a single ad, talagang magbabad ka talaga sa Facebook ads every 30 minutes to 2 hours kasi kailangan mong, kailangan ko yung mga Facebook, eh, yung mga non-performing ads, dapat mo i-kill yan, eh. dapat mong patayin before the 24 hour ends kasi pag nakapag-run lang siya within 24 hours tapos hindi pala siya performing ads, then you're wasting either 5,000 or 10,000. Depende talaga. So, kung kaya mo i-handle, uh, kaya mo yan siya. Pero, yun nga, when it comes to scaling, then mag-isip ka pa ng scaling pot, scaling sa Facebook ad strategy mo, then mag-isip ka pa ng ano bang dapat na na design or ano dapat, dapat, dapat na video. So, maano ka? Ma say, anong tawag dyan sa Tagalog? Palilito ka kung ano bang dapat na I would suggest that you you should focus kung saan mo gusto na na, na skill set na, na gusto mo talaga i-pursue. Okay. Um to Jonathan, usually if you are a Facebook Ads manager, you focus on that certain niche para mas ma-enhance mo yung skill na yon. And then if you want to become a graphic designer or a video editor, you focus on those as well but not uh, kasi mas isasuggest namin na niche focused ka kasi mas ma-enhance yung skill mo and mas malaki yung market mo. A graphic designer or a video editor starts from $5 to $25 to $50 depending on your package or what kind of skill you have. So uh, if you focus on that particular niche, yung graphic design and video editing, uh, and then you have very good profile, um, you possibly will get more than $20 per hour or uh, $1,000 per project, something like that. Yes. Okay. So um, we have uh, Hill Sabakan here, and um, it's the same question. It's, uh, do you accept interns, sir, for practice namin, or can you suggest an agency where we can apply? Um, okay, internship. Um, um, yung tinuro, tinuro ko sa inyo guys, yung paano ba, uh, paano ka ba maggawa ng Facebook ads. As a start siguro, uh, you work on it, kaya para bang mag-discover ka doon kung paano bang, ano bang gustong gawin mo, yung gano'n. Pero when it comes to internship, wala pa, wala pa, wala pa talaga kung paano regarding that. And, ano yung last question ma'am? Ano yung last question na nakalimutan ko? Um, suggest an agency where ah, agency. they Regarding apply. sa agency, um, usually, makukuha mo yan sa, sa mga freelancing websites eh. And I do think si Mom Red is marami siyang website na alam dyan. And yun lang. So, kung, kung gusto mo matrabaho sa isang agency, um, yun nga, doon ka sa mga freelancing websites na may mention ko kanina at at the same time, si Mom Red is makatulong din sa mga freelancing websites. Okay. Yes, we will post something about that as well. Now, we have a question from Carl. 
um, sa part po doon sa debit card na ilalagay mo sa business manager, is it yours or sa client mo? Okay. So, usually, kung sa client mo, usually, sila na yung nags, uh, nag-set up sa BM mo. So, kasi pag ikaw pa mag-set up ng credit card ng client mo, uh, hindi naman hindi nila isi-send yung credit card details ni sa sa'yo, di ba? So, usually, ang BM is ready na yan siya and invite ka na nila. And yung requirement, usually, ikaw gumagawa ng mga ad account sa yung Facebook page nila. So, yun. Okay. Um, we have a question again from Anna. How do you know if the ads um, is perform is the ad is performing? So, depending sa ads mo ma'am na ginawa. Example, kung nasa e-commerce ka or nasa conversion ka. And uh, ito yung process ko kasi if may budget, kung may budget ka na $15 a day, then yung target market mo is yung dog sa dog niche. Then ang gawin mo, ang style ko, pag pag may purchase sa in in 20, in the in, in 12 hours or may ads to cart siya or may initiate checkout siya that is a potential na winner pag pag they spent na yung yung 15 dollar mo ng 10 dollars tapos wala pa siyang ads to cart o wala siyang purchase then that's not a winner so ito yan ang mga examples na on how to kill or how to scale your your facebook ads kasi kung yung mga strategy strategy din pag maging okay na siya, let's say for example, eh, sa, sa $15 mo, is ma, pag nag-spend siya ng $2 tapos may purchase siya isa, ang strategy ko usually is to duplicate the ad and uh, post another ad set na ang budget is around $50 to $100, $200, depende na sa'yo. So yun ang scaling process naman when it comes to sa Facebook ads na advance. Kasi sa, sa agency ko naman, um, Hinayaan ako ng mga clients ko na ako na yung mag-scale eh. So, naka, nakatry na kami nag-scale ng mga 1,000 a day sa isang ad set. $1,000 a day. And then, grabe bongga talaga yung mga client na yun. And then, yun nga, i-observe namin yung ad namin for every 30 minutes. Na may, may, may tinitingnan kami ng mga CPM, CTR, click-through rate, impression, parang ganun. Ads to cart. Yun, sa mga Sir, follow up? Question ko lang, who decide how much you spend in an ad? Depende. Um, sa client, sabi niya, uh, pag sinabi niya, Jake, please uh, spend only $500 with this, uh, with this, with this product. And then ikaw na mag-budget, ikaw na bahala dyan. Depende rin kung, Jake, I have, I have no idea kung magkano bang dapat i-add ko. Then mag-suggest ka rin. Yun, yun ang mga ano. We have another question um, from Gressel. It's a follow-up question from Jonathan's question. Okay. If you all, if you are, <laughs> if you're also the designer or editor, do you think it is fair for us freelancers, as freelancers, to charge an extra rate for the task? Yes, dapat dapat talaga magano ka mag 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 demand ka na extra rate. Kasi iba, yes. yung, iba yung level ng designers, eh. iba din yung level ng Facebook ads. And yes. <laughs> ibang, ibang skill set din talaga sila guys. So, kung yun nga, sinabi ko kina, kung may, may talent ka sa dalawa and ma-handle mo yung time mo, then, ano, um, suggest another, ano, parang uh, higher budget uh, dun sa budget nila. Just as um, I personally charge my graphics $7 above. My graphics, if I create seven dollars per hour, my, uh, that's and and I'm just using basic Canva, um, and the Canva is paid by my client. Yun yung pinakababa kong rate for graphic design. Um, so if lagyan ko siya ng ano, lagyan ko siya ng Facebook ads, which I cannot manage because gra graphic design alone will take so much yes, time so, to yeah. think. So, if I will add Facebook ads, then I will charge $15 to $20. I would really charge $15 to $20 per hour. Ganun lang yun. Tama, tama. Um, do not, do not, uh, ayaw, uh, wag niyong i, wag niyong i-settle for less yung skill set niyo. Kasi pag, pag kahit hindi kayo ganun kagaling, but you are working hard through to it, 
it means it's worth paying for. And the client hired you because of your um, of your portfolio, meaning that particular client likes your taste or That's knows true. that you can um, really pull off whatever he likes or she likes, right? So, ganun lang yun. Um, we have question from Hil Sabahan. Ano bang type sa job search Facebook Ads Manager? Job? You, you mean sa mga freelancing platform, no? Ah, no, no. Fa- Facebook Ads lang. Then, lalabas niya sa lahat. Okay. Then, we have another from April. Uh, may mga clients po ba na ikaw din pinapagawa ng copy for the ads? Oh yes, uh, meron talaga kasi um kapag, uh, for me kasi pag mag, mag mag work as a Facebook ads freelancer dapat isali mo na lang talaga yung ano yung yung copy na skill, yung copyright nila. So uh, mahirap para sa akin diyan kasi nga hindi first language ko yung English, hindi nga rin Tagalog. <laughs> so mahirap talaga. So uh, ano talaga um dapat ka mag Facebook ads freelancer ka, dapat marunong ka at least marunong ka ng mga basic yun ang mga suggest ko dyan. And for me, may mga work kasi na, na sa mga copywriters din. Kasi may mga freelancers din ma- ma'am read, diba, ng mga copywriters. Ba, diba, may mga freelancers din ganyan. So, sila yung usually ang binibigyan ng mga task na ganyan. Pag may budget yung client mo. Pero kung walang budget, then mapilitan ka talaga na ikaw yung gumawa. Let's say, for example, uh, may may isang dentist doon na client ko sa US. Uh, wala, wala ako idea about sa dentistry. So, Oh, hinanap ko lang si Google and then yun, ginawa ko yung basic talaga na ad. Yun lang. Before mo siya i- i-post Sir Jake, i- i- um, mag-ask ka pa ng permission or something like okay na ba ito sa client? Yes, oh, before you post the ad, uh, kailangan mo talaga i-present mo muna yan sa, sa boss mo para walang ano, di ka magpagalitan. Pero depende rin kasi may times na uh, natutulog pa yung client mo so, guts na lang. I-post ko na lang talaga. Kagad. How many Facebook ads ba ang i-require usually ng mga um, client mo per hour? De- depende. Depende talaga. Kasi sa Facebook ads kasi, mal- madali lang yung pag-set up talaga. Yung ang mahirap yung mag-research ka kung ano bang interest na ilagay mo, ano bang audience na kailangan mo, ano bang mga gender na dapat mong i-target ano bang mga mga ages nila 18 to 25 ba 25 to 32 ba so yun ang mahirap so, sa research part kasi yung Facebook ads kasi uh, part din ng job nila is to research kung ano bang mga interest or ano bang mga mga nagwo-work ng mga interest diyan na pwede mo i-target so depende talaga so kung kung alam mo na yung interest then yun nga was in a one hour time siguro makagawa kayo ng ads ng mga maximum siguro mga 40 to 50 or tiyan ba tayo? mga mga siguro mga 30 20 ganun we have um, another question from Anna um, sir as a beginner if we luckily land a job weeks from now to do facebook ads can we reach out to you and ask some questions yes. or advice Okay kayo. Okay kayo. <laughs> ang dami, oh, dami kong mga friends na nag, nag-PM sa akin. Okay naman din. Walang problema. And guys, he has a YouTube channel. Um, yes, he guys. shares his skills there. You have to follow and um, subscribe um, in his YouTube channel because you will really learn from what he's um, sharing there. Yes. Yes, um, yes. I personally followed and subscribed so Hello, please follow. do yeah. um you, after this call, uh, after this training this particular video will be posted in his youtube channel i will share it in the group um as a youtube link but it's going to be a link to his youtube channel so please do like and subscribe his channel okay thank you any question any more questions one, we're one last <laughs> can i ask can I ask some questions? No, could you, yes. Could you can delete permission uh, to post hi, sir. Hi, hi, hi. hi, sir. Good evening. Yes, hi, regarding um, post uh, onlinejob.ph account, actually, I'm working out right now and I'm halfway. 
I'm just curious about the ID proof. Do I need to fill it out 100% para maka-apply ka ng mga ano, jobs? Kasi parang when I search lang, mas importante daw yung ID proof before you can land a job. 90 will How do. Ch- oh, yes, 90? Yeah. Ah, yes. okay. 90, 90 will do. So, yes, so uh, Jake, one oh. question, sorry. Uh, okay. In one of the screenshots that you showed earlier, um, oh I saw yes. call to action. And for some reason, you didn't click it. You didn't select any value there. So I just wanted to know, um, how does call to action affect or will, will it have direct impact on your ads performance? Or I'm not good. <laughs> Thank you for that qu- wonderful question. Wonderful question. <laughs> I mean, so, universe. Grabe mo, all over the world. <clears throat> okay, so, <laughs> so y- yung question mo regarding with uh, sa call to action, kasi yung ginawa natin na ad is engagement, engagement na campaign. Ang engagement na campaign, wala siyang ad, uh, ano, wala siyang call to action. So, kung ilagay mo dun na conversion, may nakalagay dun na call to action na purchase, I mean, uh, sign up, or ano ba tawag dyan? View website. Ah, oh, okay. Na, okay. So, if it's lead generation, it will be sign up something. Line up, kung lead generation, sign up. Uh, may mga uh, offer, get offer, yun, di ba? Then, yung sa engagement kasi, yung uh, ang marketing objective mo sa engagement is to gain more likes, uh, shares, and comments. So, wala, wala nang ano, wala nang siyang call to action. I see. Yep. Perfect. Palakpakan. Winner. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Guys, we're going to say goodbye to Sir Jake and we would like to say thank you, oh, Sir yeah. Jake. Um, for this the time. Um, we will have more trainings and then follow and subscribe his channel. Uh, other trainings like uh, creating profile, uh, they're upcoming yun siya. So please um, still stand by and um, Wait for updates sa ating group para may mas maraming learnings and you will know and where your where your niche will be once you uh, watch a lot of trainings because by heart man good uh, by heart kasi yun eh yung yung work is by heart so if if hindi para sa yo hindi uh, patok sa puso mo hindi talaga click click yun so good. yeah go. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And we will have another training at 8 p.m. Please wa- uh, stand by uh, later. It's a different link. It's Google Meet. So if you are using mobile, please download Google Meet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Jake. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye, guys. See you later. Salama. Thank you. Bye bye. Subscribe na ko. Bye bye. Thank you. Ay, salamat. Kapag-ihapon na ta. Tiyan.